drop a like in the next 5 seconds if you want to get every single item in Fortnite. Before we start with the video, I want to let you all know that I'm gifting subscribers anything from the item shop. This includes free skins and free emotes. Now, if you also want to have a chance of getting a free gift from me, then all you have to do is first of all, subscribe to my channel from there, drop a like on this video and also make sure to leave a comment down below telling me your Epic Games username. This way, I can add you. But with all that being said, let's begin with today's video. Welcome back to the channel, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far and in this video I'll be showing you everything about Season 11 in Fortnite Battle Royale. I will be showing you the release date of Season 11, a brand new Battle Pass theme, the event leading up to Season 11, as well as a new map and new skins. I pretty much have all the leaks, information and much more. Now real quick, we're so close to 2.5 million subscribers. So if you hit the subscribe button right now, you could be my 2,500,000 subscriber. And also, huge shout out to everyone who is using code SHUFFLEGAMER in the item shop. If you do use the code, be sure to let me know down below in the comment section by saying I used your code and I will give your comment a heart. Now, with all that said, let's actually start with the video. Okay, so first off, there's a new Samsung bundle which almost all of you guys can get for free right now. The bundle includes a legendary skin named Glow as well as an emote named Levitate. On screen, you can now see what they look like in game. Samsung officially announced that the iconic promotion had ended and with that, a new one just started. However, this time it is available to almost all Samsung users. If you own or you know anyone who has one of the following Samsung devices, you will be able to get it for free. All you have to do is first of all, download and launch Fortnite from the Galaxy Store or the Galaxy Game Launcher. From there, sign into your Epic Games account and go to the store and from there, the glow skin should appear in the store under limited time offers. From here, tap on it and a notice will pop up asking you to register a credit card. Just add one, but do not worry, your credit card will not be charged as long as you don't buy anything of course in the game. From here, redeem the outfit and the mode for yourself or gift it to a friend by the 31st of December 2019. Okay, so getting it this time is extremely easy. You'll even receive a glow skin token, which means you can gift it to a friend if you don't want it yourself or if you have two devices. Now, if you don't own any of the following Samsung devices, don't worry. If this video manages to reach 10,000 likes, I will actually give the glow skin with the levitate emote to a couple of lucky subscribers. Just make sure to leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel and from there stay tuned but with all that being said let's actually start to talk about season 11 all right so we're now nine weeks into season 10 and just a few weeks away from season 11 to be honest this was a great season if we don't include the max of course the season started off with the borderlands event and only a couple weeks later we got the Batman event as well and not to forget a weekly map update giving us back old locations as a rift zone but with a twist in short a ton of events and updates map changes challenges and of course free rewards because boy we received a ton of them this season once again. This season brought back so many memories. Anyways, greater things are coming, so let's get straight into all the information, news, and leaks. Starting with the release date of Season 11, we're going to take a look back at the Season 10 Battle Pass. When you get over to it right now, it'll display how many days are left till Season 10 ends. Currently, for me, it's saying that there are only 9 days left. So that means season 11 is going to start on October the 6th, which however is on a Sunday. And they know for sure that they will never bring out a new season on weekends. So most likely season 10 is going to get extended with or delayed by a couple of days. Matter of fact, that would come down to season 10 ending on Thursday, October the 10th, which does match their pattern. So we can say that the release date for season 11 is going to be Thursday the 10th of October, which can even be confirmed by leakers. Now the final week before season 11, we can expect two things to happen. The over Overtime challenges as well as this season's live event. Here are all the leaked overtime challenges on screen. As you can see, you can get yourself 3 extra styles for your battle pass skins, 35,000 XP as well as the season 10 loading screen. From there, we're also going to get ourselves a new live event and this live event is going to be the biggest live event we've ever seen in the game. It's going to be another rocket launch, but this time with an outcome which some of you might not really like. As of now, the rocket at Dusty Depot has been fully completed by the visitor skin. All that's left now is powering it up and launching it. Now, at this workshop, in the Dusty Depot hangar, more interesting things can be found. For example, this computer screen right here. A 3D print of the mech can be seen and it looks like it's been affected by some sort of virus. And right after a mech lands, it explodes and it's no longer usable. So, we can confirm that the mechs are finally vaulted. 
Now, the interesting part here is that it got a virus on three different spots. And by any chance, let those be the exact same spots where the robot got hit by the Polar Peak Monster during the Season 9 live event, as you can see from this image right here. Now, the visitors' recordings you have to find for the overtime challenges got leaked already as well. When being translated, they reveal his secret. I'll give you guys a listen to all six recordings right now while giving you also the audio translation on screen. Now, when can we expect this rocket launch event to take place? If I would have to guess, I would say on Saturday, the 5th of October at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Pretty much five days before the official end of the season, just like what they did last season. Now, leading up to this event, we will get multiple hints, such as TV screen showing warnings or timers. And the LTM you have to join to actually witness the live event or rocket launch got leaked already as well. It is called The End, and it has a description that says, join the fight to restore our timeline before it's too late. And this is the LTM image of what it's going to look like like in the in-game lobby. Now, what do they exactly mean with the end? Do they mean the end of the visitor's stay at the island? Do they mean the end of the max? Or worse, do they mean the end of the Fortnite map? Because when we take a look at the week done loading screen, which you will unlock by completing the last stop challenges, you can see the battle bus leaving us behind. The description of this loading screen even says, Thank you, bus driver. So, would it really be the last time we see the battle bus in the game? In the game folders, a ton of files have been found, and these other files hint towards the rocket launch as well as the battle bus honking while flying away for the last time. Matter of fact, this is even hinted towards us twice. First of all, by this cinematic trailer, where we can see Jonesy being stuck on an island all by himself while the battle bus passes by. From there, it even got hinted towards us by the wall painting made by Bunker Jonesy. Pretty cool, right? Also, what's happening with the meteor? For the past few weeks, it has slowly been moving forward. I mean, if that strikes the island, we can guarantee there will be no map left. Now, more leaks that were found hinting towards the fact that Season 11 is going to give us a new map are the following. In Season 11, Fortnite is officially leaving the beta version. From there on, the game will no longer be in early access, and it will be finished on development. When a game is in a beta state, it can receive updates more often. So, maybe with the release of Season 11, we might see less but bigger updates, and so, a completely new map. From there, leakers are able to find a total of 12 brand new name locations. And these are all the leaked name locations right here. Rocky Ridge, Beachy Bluffs, Camp Cut, Dirty Ducks, Frenzy Farm, Holy Hedges, Lazy Lake, Mountain Meadow, Power Plant, Slurpy Swamp, Sunny Shores, and Weeping Woods. Season 11 takes place during Halloween as this year's Halloween will be celebrated on Thursday, the 31st of October. Now, just like last year with Season 6, we can expect the Battle Pass to be Halloween-themed. Next to Summer and Christmas, Halloween is one of the biggest events in this game. It even has its own name. Fortnite Mares. In this article, which they posted about a week ago, they already confirmed that Fortnite Mares will be coming to the game this year, and with that maybe even a Halloween-themed battle pass. Do you remember how they brought back Skull Trooper last year? Well, what if they were to bring back Gold Trooper this year? Wouldn't that be crazy? Now, we actually already have some leaked Season 11 skins, which also do kind of match the Halloween theme. It will come out as a bundle which is named the Fortnite Darkfire Bundle. It will be released on the 5th of November, which is still during Season 11. This pack is going to cost you around $30, 30 euros, or 25 pounds. And it will be available in the store for every single platform. The pack is going to include three legendary skins, three legendary bag blinks, three rare dual wooding pickaxes, three epic wraps, and one emote. So, if you were to buy all these items separately in the item shop, it was going to cost you around 11 or 12,000 V-Bucks, which is around 100 bucks. So, I guess this bundle is a great deal. Now, as of now, the exact items are still unknown, but due to this cover, we can already guess three skins. Each logo represents one skin. The first logo stands for the Shadow Arc skin, the middle logo stands for the Dark Power Court skin, and the bottom logo stands for the Molten Omen skin. Now, in Season 11, we will finally be able to select which default skin we want to be. As you know, there are a total of 8 default skin styles. However, we still are not able to select them. It just gives us one randomly each and every single match. Anyways, with this in-game leak, it is confirmed. 
Epic Games is working on the feature where we can choose which default skin we want to be. To be honest, it will be a great feature, because when you think about it, the default skin is actually the most OG skin in the game. It is literally the first skin ever in Fortnite Battle Royale. Next up, we have Weapon Charms. Weapon Charms are pretty much decorations for your weapons. Hypex tweeted out saying, so many strings and infos added about the charms, and from what we can see, they will be usable on skins, back blings, and weapons. They are almost ready, so we could see them anytime soon. And with that, he showed these images on screen. So, pretty much, weapon charms are going to be a new feature or cosmetic category in your locker very soon. Possibly with the Season 11 Battle Pass. More skins, which have been found in the files weeks or even months ago, are the Aerith skin and the Boa Bro skin. Both these skins are likely to come out during Season 11 either as Battle Pass skins or as Item Shop skins. We shall see. Anyways, that's it for now. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give the like down below. And if you're new around here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you don't have to miss any other video from me. But with all that being said, always remember, this was Shovel Gamer, and I am signing out.